everybody, I'm Anna Huthmaker from Huthmaker Violins. Today you found one of our Student Stuck at Home video series. So, do you want to know what is the second most frustrating thing in the entire world? It's when your car is making a really weird sound and you find the time, you take off from work and you go to the garage and you take it to the mechanic and it stops making that sound. That is the second most frustrating thing in the world. So you might be asking yourself, what is the first? The first is when your violin or your cello or your bass or your viola makes rattles and buzzes and you can't figure out what's wrong. And then of course, when you take it to the violin shop, it stops making that noise. Today, we're gonna to talk about all the things that could buzz and rattle on your instrument. There's a ton of things and so we're gonna cover them because a lot of them, you won't even need to go to the shop. And by the time you're finished with this video, you'll know which is which, and you'll know when it's important to go make an appointment to see your favorite luthier. So the first thing, normally, we're gonna start at the top of the instrument. On a cello or a violin or a viola, you have several things that can rattle up here in the top. And one of the first things is, does your peg have any decorative things on it? Does it have, we call this a collar, does it have a little ball on the end? A lot of times those will come loose. And if that does, they'll go bzz, bzz, bzz. Just when you're playing certain notes, it's very annoying. Also, the string ends. If you watched our earlier video on how to change your string, we talked about the fact that you take a metal string and you push it through the peg and then you start turning. Well, if that string is pushed too far in and if it's touching another string, when you play, this entire thing is vibrating and it can cause that to buzz and to rattle. It can be very obnoxious. Now, of course, if you're playing a string bass, your gears up here are metal. And if you hear something metallic up there, often you can kind of tap on it a little bit and see, maybe one of the screws has come loose. You'll know it'll go if that's what the problem with the bass gear. Another thing that might buzz is if the winding on your string is coming loose. So often if that's the case, you'll actually feel it when you're playing on it because it'll move under your fingers. Sometimes you can see it. That means you need a new string and that's a buzz or a rattle. It's not going away, it's just gonna get worse. So go ahead and replace your string. Another thing that can also rattle on your instrument, and you're gonna find these, um, you won't find these normally on basses, but on violins, violas, and cellos, if you have a string protector. And a string protector, Maybe often you'll see it on the E string. It's a little collar. Some instruments have it, some don't. If you don't have it, it's no big deal. But through changing strings, through tuning, it could have shifted and it could be rattling. So you wanna look at that. One of the main culprits for rattling on violins, violas, and cellos for sure is fine tuners. Now, this fine tuner has two screws. It has the one that we turn and it has one on the bottom. The vibration of us playing on everyday practice can cause this to come undone. And when that happens, it'll go bzz, bzz, bzz. And you can often just take your fingers and tighten it up. Now this instrument just has one. So what if you have four? Or what if you have an instrument with a built-in fine tuners? Often, again, if you've tried to loosen this too much, you're trying to get your string down to pitch, hear that? That means that the screw is too loose, and when I play, that whole thing's gonna rattle. That's gonna be totally obnoxious. So you have to find the one that's loose. Ah, hear that? Much better. I just tightened up that one a little bit. Another thing, we talked about this in our chin rest video, if you saw that a couple of days ago. The barrels of a chin rest on a violin or viola could definitely rattle. Again, everything is always vibrating on this thing. So, and when it's vibrating, that means everything kind of comes unscrewed slowly but surely throughout the days. So, check your tailpiece, I mean, sorry, check your chin rest. And again, a lot of times, you can just kind of tap on them. You'll hear if something's loose, you know, to give you an indication that you can tighten yourself. Every now and then, you will find that you'll get a little dust or varnish or something stuck in the little corners of your holes, that can cause buzzing. And if that's the case, you can take like a piece of paper or a business card and um, try and stick it in there. 
and see if you can knock it out. But you just want to handle that really carefully because you could scratch your F hole. So that might be a time to go see your, your luthier. The things that you definitely have to come see us for, if you have open seams. Now, if you lightly tap and you start hearing a clack, 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 your seam has come unglued. Go see your local violin shop. Sometimes the fingerboard will come unglued. Again, that you need to go see your violin shop. Don't let your daddy fix it. Don't let your uncle come in there with some Gorilla Glue or Super Glue and say, I, he's got it covered. Take it to a professional. Um, if you play cello or bass, your end pin can rattle. You just wanna make sure that's all metal down there, metal screw, metal rod. Make sure that everything is tightened up. There are other things inside your instrument that are way more serious that can rattle, but those are also way more rare. The things I've been talking about, fine tuners, end pins, chin rests, decorative pegs, these are usually your culprit. And if you can take care of those, then you can get back to practicing really, really hard. I hope that took a little bit of mystery out of the different things that can rattle on your instrument. If you have any questions, you can call me at Huffmaker Violins. I'm Anna Huffmaker from Huffmaker Violins. Now, go email your teacher and say thank you.